this is what makes a good siege player and you guys don't ever think of it this way the best attackers are the best defenders the best defenders are the best attackers if you have a strat that includes jumping in the window and yinging and pushing as soon as you load into a ranked game as a solo queue player or as a siege player you should look to play in the bathroom and counter yourself pretend you're always playing yourself and you will get a lot of kills and you'll learn more What's going on YouTube? My name is Braxton. I am a Rainbow Six Siege coach and an ex-semi-professional player. In today's video, I hope I teach you what you are looking for. I truly hope you get better. And if you guys have a time, I stream every single day on Twitch and I even have my own charm in the game that you can wear and represent. Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. In today's video, we are going to do a map breakdown with Villa. This was the most voted map in the comment section last video. I don't mind doing it. I think it's a really fun map, but a hard map. The last video did so well. Maybe this one too. And this one should be better. So let's get right into it. So we're first going to start here on this master side. I want to talk about attackers and defenders first when approaching this. If you guys are newer to the game, there's usually a bomb here, right? And there's a bomb here, okay? Bomb A, bomb B, okay? Now, by the way, these bomb spots might be... A little off but it's okay don't worry about it all right so first of all a lot of you guys probably end up running into a scenario where there's usually a guy outside the window here maybe two guys bathroom window maybe one guy repel astro and i'll never i will never show you five circles from the attackers because usually there's always one guy trying to do his own thing so i'll teach you in the hardest way a group of four okay and if you solo queue you can do any of these jobs on your own let's first explain why there needs to be a guy on repel you see this guy on repel is really important because it stops the attack of uh, the defenders excuse me from rotating in and out the bathroom and you want to make sure there's no way anybody can go in and out the bathroom because it's going to make your job as attackers very easy to jump in the window now, why are you looking to jump in the bathroom window, though? Why are you looking to go there? It's because in a standard defensive setup, you have reinforcement one, reinforcement two, head height holes, head height, standing height, right? Reinforcement here, reinforcement there, head heights again. Why is that so popular? Because a defender will stand here on this black circle, and as soon as your feet hit the ground when you jump in the window here, you will die. So avoid ever going into the closet if you see that setup. It's reinforcement, reinforcement, head heights, and the angle goes to the closet, okay? So I'm going to draw this line. I'm going to leave it here because that's one defender of five, okay? So again, you're looking to jump in this window because it is your safest way to get in. Now, what are some things you need to worry about? A nitro below, frost mat. How do you deal with that? Guys, you have a lot of drones. Something that is going to take you a very far away in this game is understanding that when you jump in a window, you're jumping into the building, you're getting in the building, and you feel like you could get nitroed, there is no issue with ever putting your prep drone below the room. So if we played competitively, when I played in Challenger League, when I scrimmed pro teams, when I played pro teams on a daily basis, this was my favorite strike to call as an IGL to jump in the bathroom window. I like to skip roamers that were below, but we always got nitroed. So we adjusted it to put a camera in kitchen so we wouldn't know if there was a pre-placed nitro there. Put a camera below if you're that obsessed about a nitro below. All right? So this guy's job is massive. All right? Never leave this window. You're trying to stay here. If this guy can play Ash, Sophia, this is kind of big. Now, why? Because I didn't make reinforcements here. Now, in a professional matter, there should be reinforcement, right? It should be. Reinforcement, reinforcement, would I rotate over here, okay? But we all know sometimes this wall is completely soft. And that's because ranked players don't know the repercussions of leaving a wall such like this soft. So what's going to happen here is that this Ash player, the Sophia player, they will Ash the wall here, and they go absolutely dummy. They go Ash the wall, right, all the way across. And they now have a full angle on all of this, right? They have a full angle, a full vision on all of this. This is the Ash view, disgusting. Something else Ash now has is, or the Sophia has, is the ability to stop people from running up the stairs as well, 
okay? So very important. This is, this is big, okay? Now, with these two guys in the window, what are you going to do? What is your plan? What are you looking to do? I'll tell you what I do. I like to play yin, and I throw my yings in here, right, like this, diagonally, and I look to flush this player into the Ash or Sophia player, and we get a kill every time. From here, now you can wrap the door and pre-fire the guy on the head high angle because it's going to be very expected. They're looking to fight the closet, not so much you. But once you get in this bathroom, you're comfortable. You should have two players in the bathroom. You guys get in. And once you get into this bathroom area with the Ying, you then take another Candela and you throw it at the staircase. Because let's be honest, we have brain cells, right? Can the Ash Sophia player always kill the guy on the stairs? No, you can't always see that guy. So Ash, uh, so Ying is perfect here because the Ying can throw Candelas down the staircase. Why is she the one I bring up primarily? Literally only for that. She can go in here, yin the bathroom, clear it, check. She can yin the staircase, check. Now you can walk into Astro. I can smoke the rotate with the yin like this. I can smoke split. And if the Ash doesn't open the wall, the Sophia doesn't open the wall, if there's head height here, uh, feet holes or rotate, I can smoke the wall again and fight more. And then I go from the bathroom door into the triple wall. And we skip everybody in here. These are just some ideas. You don't have to do it exactly how I explain it. But you can see how Ying is so good because now you can play an unplayable area and you can now be a menace. Uh, make sure that you guys always have throwables here. Capital fires, Yings, grenades, flashes because you want it for the staircase. All right. So we understand a lot of this. We're, we're learning. I hope you guys are like, wow, what the hell? Now, what about the guy outside the master balcony? What is his job? What is he looking to really do? This guy's going to play Habano or Ace, and you're looking to open knee height to waist height across this wall. All the way across. Why are we looking to do that? Because when you guys open at head height angles, defenders then swing and they pre-fire at head height angles. When you open the wall lower at the waist area, that means the defender has to crouch and look into the breach. Which means they are a slower player model, which means you'll get easier kills. Because they are going into a slower form of a player model. And that is massive for your game. A lot of you guys don't think of that stuff. So it's important. Now, what if we talk about the master closet? What do we do with the master closet? Brack, usually there is a shield here. There's ADSs here. First of all, there hasn't been an ADS played in Rainbow Six Siege. It feels like the entire season. I know it's a drag. But it feels like we are not really getting here um, when it comes to my ADSs. But it happens. A zombie, whatever. What you guys can do is out of this group of two people, if you really want, you can play Nomad. Now, Brat, you say Nomad's one of the worst ops in the game. Nomad is one of the worst ops because people depend on her way too much. But this is one of those scenarios where Nomad could be actually amazing. Now, why is that? If Nomad follows the Ying in, Nomad can air jab the brick door, meaning that the guy in the window only has to watch the breach. He's not worried about anyone swinging his door. And guess what? You don't have to do three, four flashes, grenade, break the shield. You could skip all of that. Hey, enjoy yourself on the door because you're not going to do anything over there specific anyway. Then what you guys are able to do with that second air jab once you jump in the window here is air jab the staircase. Why? Because now nobody can flank the staircase and now we are moving. We're getting aggressive into the site. And with a third air jab, you can do literally anything you want. You can hit the, uh, you can hit the rotate. You can swing into site, get the brick door or, I mean, the brick door or the... The red door, you can do so much. And this is a standard attack. If you learn something new, let's just start commenting below. Let's get the algorithm going uh, because we're going to keep pumping out the content. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reset this up. We're going to talk about defenders. Why are we talking about defenders now? Because I'm going to tell you how to counter everything I just showed you. <laughs> that is kind of like my job, right? So we're going to do the reinforcements here. We're going to set it up. Okay. Uh, we have the head height holes here. So things you can do. Let's just talk about it. Um, by the way, again, don't forget, when you're a solo queue player, you can be the, the ace here, the yin here, the nomad here, the repel guy, or maybe you're the guy that goes below. Who knows? But no matter what, just understand that you can do any of those jobs. You don't have to be in a stack. You can pick one specific job to do in solo queue. That's how I get solo queue champ every season. As a defender, let's now, this is what makes a good siege player. And you guys don't ever think of it this way. The best attackers are the best defenders. The best defenders are the best attackers. If you have a strat that includes jumping in the window and yinging and pushing, as soon as you load into a ranked game, as a solo queue player or as a siege player, you should look to play in the bathroom and counter yourself. 
pretend you're always playing yourself and you will get a lot of kills and you'll learn more. So what we're going to be doing is talking about bringing an operator that has traps or nitros for this floor. Or you could play, guess what? Smoke, one of my favorite operators for the site. The reason why I like playing smoke on the site is because you can do a lot of things, right? As a smoke player, you can throw smokes into the closet and you can throw smokes onto the window. You can put barbed wire down here, down here, and you can make all the rotates in the holes that your team needs. And you kind of just play in this little area until you are forced out. What is the biggest issue with this setup? It is the fact that somebody could be on the window. I only lose this setup when someone plays in the window. That's it. That's the only way I lose this setup because I can usually sit in the bathtub or in the corner here. And I can't really die because I just waste time with a shotgun and smoke grenades. And eventually I die, but it's like I already have a kill or two or I wasted two minutes. So who cares? But that's one possibility. What's another one? You guys could play Valkyrie and put a camera up in the corner, put barbed wire under the door, and then blow a nitro from below, right? That's something else you guys can do. I recently posted a TikTok. You guys should follow TikTok, by the way, where I throw three thorn traps in one area. And someone goes, what a waste of a gadget. You're, you're only covering one area. If you can make the game a 5v4, how come people can spawn kill with a nitro in their pocket get a kill and go, I got my one, I killed Thermite, the round's over. But when I use my ability to get kills, I don't die. People go, I can't believe you just wasted three thorns. It's like, why can't I get my kill with my three thorn gadgets? You could put two barbed wire here, two thorn traps, put them in the floor, get a kill. Frost mat. The most popular thing you're going to see on the site is frost. You're going to see a frost mat underneath the astro window. Why? Because when an attacker jumps in, their ego is going to get the best of them. They're going to say, I'm going to shoot this frost mat and then look up and kill the guy on a triple wall. It is not going to happen. They don't have the reaction time for it. I have never seen it really happen unless this guy here on triple wall trolls. So obviously, we're going to put one player here. This is going to be the guy who plays triple wall. And guess what, guys? This guy is also the frost player. Okay, Frost also has what, boys? A shield. Guess where the shield goes? Here. So you have shield, Frost mat, Frost mat where? Bathroom window. Why? Because you want to hear when they jump in. And with the last Frost mat, you're going to put it underneath the master window there, or you can put it over here. It's totally up to you. Now, for this room, I said we're going to play traps. So that's two of five operators. Hopefully, I didn't lose you yet. Stick along. You're learning. This can be lesion for the staircase. Anyone with barbed wire, smoke grenades, right, for staircase, windows, closet. Um, anyone that you think is a true nuisance here, okay? Now, something else about smoke I forgot real quick is that when you play smoke, you can throw it on the window and get this guy off, make him go down, and then you can go play the staircase. And if you put the barbed wire lower, now you're playing on the staircase with, like, two smokes left. No one can flank you in the back, and now you can smoke the bathroom door. You see how we're using our brains? It's pretty crazy. Okay. Now we're missing a guy, right? Because we have two of five guys. Now we're missing two more players. Again, we're not going to be doing groups of five. It's hard to get people to work in a group of five. But if you can, it's amazing. Let's get a guy in the shield. This guy most likely should be Wamai or Jaeger because you want to protect your shield at all costs. In solo queue, I want you to think about what needs to happen here, right? We need somebody to burn, right? We already know Ace is on the balcony, right? Or Habana. So most likely Ace. So she doesn't have, he doesn't have burn. So we need a guy to throw three burn. So now there's two player here, our burn guys, two of five. After that, we also need a guy here that can break the shield. That's three players. That's three players on the other team that need to communicate to break one shield and then eventually run over here and then work the bathroom. That's what makes the game good is that you force people to do something to break up their timing and their play. So make sure you're playing the shield. I would say Wamai well, or Jaeger is absolutely perfect for that spot. And the last guy that's going to play is going to play the in-between here of Astro and Trophy. The guy back here can do a lot. He can peek from the door all the way outside, but I don't ever suggest that. I suggest that he play someone uh, with cameras. Maybe he is the Valkyrie player that was originally putting the Nitro below in Kitchen. Now that he's in sight, after putting the Valkyrie cam below, he put a camera in 90, top red. He put a camera Astro. He just sits in sight and watches cameras, and he's a nuisance. Okay, now you guys are going to ask, what about pushing Master over? This guy just trolled. What about the other side? Hey, baby, we're going to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it. Why in ranked, it is almost impossible to do a Master 
pause, a main stairs across to attack the site over here. Listen, it goes into a lot, okay? So let me just explain this to you. If you do this take, it only works one way. You clear it all. You put a guy at 90 window, watches the cross. If it's Sophia, it's perfect. Or Ash, why? As like you did on Astro window, you open the wall. Now you see if anyone goes from here into bar. You open the vault. Now you see if anyone goes from, from the bar into vault and you cut the roamers off. You get them all to go back to site. When they go back, your job as this attack phase is happening, your goal technically is to leave three players on the side. Why are you leaving three players here? Because you're going to go back to the other side, right? And I want you to think about where everybody would turn around. The guy on the shield would go from here to here. Now he's watching this way. The guy in bathroom would go from here to here. Now he's watching this way, right? The guy in triple wall is still triple wall. He's probably playing like right there, right? Like this, watching that way. The guy's trophy backed up into Astro. Now he's watching that way. You send the hard breach player after all that work. You send him here solo to the window. Now to create a pinch in the upstairs area, okay? So if you guys ever see a solo queue game where people are going master over, I mean main stairs over, I don't know why I keep saying that, main stairs over, you guys want to make sure you create that pinch effect on the top floor. And if you had a guy 90 window, where is that going to go? Astro window. And now you guys are looking. Boom. Boom. Rotate over. Boom. Boom. And what did we create? We created a kill box. Fucking genius. Okay? This is why I loved IGLing so much, man. Just creating plays, creating things to do. Okay, let's talk about this site now, okay? We're going to have a reinforcement with head hides across, okay? Guys, I hope you understand what we're looking at. You know what? Maybe I have a better screenshot. Hey, okay. So we have reinforcement, 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 head heights across, rotate, rotate, right? A standard defense, reinforcement, feet holes, reinforcement, feet holes, reinforcement. This is one, two, three, four, five, six walls, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is four walls to use to your matter. You can use it in the middle of these two rotates. That leaves you with three walls. The other three walls can go on triple wall and master, and you can roam over there and run back to site after wasting some time. That's truly up to you. It is kind of wherever, but let's continue. So I actually want to talk about what you're looking to do here from an attacker's perspective. Now, you guys need to go watch my how to attack video. Um, it has Sledge on the thumbnail trying to get into the tunnel. A great YouTuber would probably put that on the screen right now so you can go find it amazingly. But I am one of the worst YouTubers ever, so I'm not going to be able to edit it because I'm stupid. But pretty much, I talked about how this attack sucks because everybody wastes 50 minutes on this balcony, right? They waste so much time. And eventually, when they realize they have to push, they never actually attempted to clear the guy top main. So I always suggest to people to come from master side over and hopefully win the attack here. But if you aren't going to do that, how can you win the attack pushing study over? How do you win this attack? Let's go over it. So the first thing you don't want to do, again, is I already went over Ying over there. I went over Ace over there. And I went over Nomad over there. And I'm going to keep it simple and make it the same thing here. Nomad's going to load up in here and just going to air jab that top door there. And air jab nothing else for now. The reason why you're air jabbing that door is because you don't want anyone to have the ability to just walk in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay? You want to keep it to more of a simple thing, which is most likely the head height holes there. Once you're going to do that, Ying is going to have a massive job here. Ying can do a lot, so let's talk about it. The Ying player can throw smokes in and smoke this angle off, throw smokes in and smoke this angle off here, okay? Now you drew a line with smoke grenades. Once you do that with Ying, you guys can now make your approach into here after flashing the top main guy. That's why, again, Ying is one of the most broken operators in the game that people don't play. So these are smokes, and now this is a candela. So candela all the way to here, okay? And let's actually get rid of this line because it's confusing. 
So the dot would be the yin candela. So not everybody in here is going to be flashed. It can't peek the holes. Sometimes it takes two to throw to that door. And the other two are going to go into top main. That way you can now yin everybody top main away and get in there and get a kill. Now, what if there's ADSs in my eyes? Nomad has flashes. That is something that is amazing with Nomad is her ability to use flashes. So you can burn top main with flashes. You can burn the door with flashes. That's what makes it so comfortable. Do you guys have to do it this way? Absolutely not. You guys can actually do it in a reverse matter. What does a reverse look like? I'm going to show you right now because I am him. What you're going to do is do this right here. You instead are going to take your smoke and you're going to smoke this off. Okay? When you smoke that off, you smoke this off. And then you guys can walk in as a Nomad and Ying duo and put pressure on this door after what? Condelling the site. Okay? Those are just two plays that you can make. There's a lot of holes with these plays. And let me, let me teach you something. There are some maps where you can't do it all and it's a defender-sided setup. These are one of the most defender-sided setups when it comes to uh, sites. So, um, those are just some options you can do with Ying and Nomad. You can play glass, and the glass can look through the smoke this way, or look through the smoke this way, or look through the smoke that way. That's a play that you'll see in professional play, right? The ace, right? The ace will re respawn over here, get on 90 window, and in the first 15 seconds, you're going to try to open the 90 vault. The earlier you get that wall open, the better. If you can get it open, it's amazing. If you can't, go, ah, I tried. Something you're going to not do is open up this two wall set right here. Don't ever open this up as the ace player because it's very difficult to deal with. If you're going to open up any wall, open up the one on the right and open up feet holes. Make people lay down and fight you because it's an easier fight for you, okay? Don't open it up head because they can just crouch behind it and then like whack them all that motherfucker and kill you. It's going to be really frustrating, okay? Um, all right, let's continue. This guy is still going to be on the top main area. It's going to be very frustrating. So what if you guys came from the bottom and you worked your way up the staircase? How can you make this staircase walk up fight much better? The only thing that's going to make this attack better is talent. This is one of the most frustrating attacks ever. I have competed in this game for years. I've watched pro league VODs. This is one of the hardest things to win because the guy up here has a shield. He has a lot of ADSs and he smokes. And he wastes a lot of time. It's very difficult to kill him. I don't have the perfect answer for you. This could take Flores, Ying, Capital, Grenades, Gun Skill, Timing. Or none of it could work ever. Sometimes it really be like that, okay? I just wanted to explain to you guys how to use Ying and Nomad here. And then you guys can kind of puzzle how we go push this guy here. Maybe, bruh, maybe you walk through here with Monty. I have Monty smoke, smoke, and now Monty's just in there smashing motherfuckers up on top main. Maybe you do that instead, okay? You guys always want to have a guy 90 window. What did you learn about 90 window earlier in the video? 90 window is very important, like Astro window, because if you guys eventually, as attackers, get to this, this, this. Ever been here as attackers, and this guy's like peeking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then you're here fighting 90, fighting sight, fighting 90, fighting sight, fighting 90, fighting sight. Well, guess what? If it's a guy on 90 repel, do you do that anymore? Nope. Now you're covered, and now these two people can concentrate on the fight into the sight, okay? But what is a more efficient attack? This video is going to be nasty, so here we go. What I highly suggest that you guys do is that I want you guys to think about coming from a master across. Now, one guy is going to stay the same, and that's the guy on 90 repel. And this guy on 90 repel should always be ace. Now, in your group of four of attackers coming across, or three, okay? Seven, apparently. Three. Your three attackers coming across. You guys want somebody with EMPs or grenades. Why? Because eventually, that guy will get here. And there's a drone hole, and you're going to roll your grenade in the drone hole. You're going to EMP the wall. And this guy's going to ace the wall open. This guy here who just helped you open the wall watches 90. You have an X, a crisscross, okay? The 90 vault's open, right? And as a defender, whoever is in the vault has to run back, right? Think about it. So now we cleared the vault, okay? And we're going to try to highlight this, okay? This is probably one of the coolest sites to do this on. Cleared. Good job, all right? Now, 
after clearing that, we don't care if anyone's back here. You guys have some players left over. That's two of the five. Again, if you're solo queue, pick one of these guys' jobs to do. A great solo queue player. Again, I'm going to force it on you. I don't care if it's annoying. I hit solo queue champ because I can recognize what my teams are doing and go, ah, I need to go fill that. So if I see these guys doing this, I'm like, ah, who's going to plant? If I see two guys planting, I jump out the window, I go study, and when I get over here, why am I going study now? Either there or there. Why am I doing that? Because I want to be able to control study. Because why? Now, I cleared this as the balcony player. Until I die, obviously. And this is a pro league strat, by the way, attacking. Right? So now, the guys that get here, the, the guys that are looking to plant, player one and player two over here, the guys that are looking to plant, they don't have to fight study anymore. They don't have to fight this. It now limits the fight to just that. Or close and guess what maybe not even anyone close if i'm on the balconies i'm peeking that door i'm making sure there ain't no way i'm repelling i'm holding that door tight right so now we're like damn now all they have to do as a team is just plant on the door it's so simple just plant don't look and fight the guy behind the bar don't waste your time doing that just sprint in crouch and plant the bomb could there be a nitro yes could there be a smoke yes but that's what Siege is. And sometimes we can't do anything about it. And I actually think they're drop. I'm leaking. Comment leak if you heard this. I heard there's a possibility of there being an operator where you drive the drone in, you plant it, you park the car, and when people go to nitro and smoke you, it shoots the shit out the air. So you can plant. I told them to do that three years ago. I told them to do that. Man, it's so late with these great operator ideas. Unbelievable. Anyway, fire. Okay. Defender now. As a defender with this whole setup. Boom. Feet holes. Feet holes. Boom. Boom. Head heights. Boom. Boom. Vault. How do you make this setup the best? What could you do? My favorite thing to do is play a Rooney. You're going to put a bulletproof camera here watching the outside study door. I think it's one of the best bulletproofs in the game. And then you're going to a Rooney gate like this. You're going to a Rooney gate like this. And you can Rooney gate either this door or this door. It's honestly up to you. Ah, Honestly, for the sake that no one's ready, probably here. So those are your three. Then you have two barbed wire. What I like to do is just put my barbed wire. Oh, pause. If you don't play bulletproof, you're going to put your barb on the staircase. Okay. Board of Rooney, I like this. You have a DMR. You have the gates for burn. You're affecting the play here going into top main. It's affecting what's going on. If you want to really affect the study take, maybe you wait until the round starts. And if you hear a lot of study action, you put the gate here instead. And you're looking to be pretty much a nuisance and affect all the burning. You're countering you're countering my strat okay so you brought that down a rooney is really solid now someone else i really like is frost on the site now you're probably gonna ask why i like putting a frost mat on the staircase here i like putting a frost mat on the staircase on red if anyone wants to walk up and i put one underneath that window right there because sometimes people try to jump in the window and then push in the site and i don't really like that to be honest something else that's good about frost is that you can put a shield on top of the maps table on TikTok, I posted this strat and it went crazy. You get on the table, you find a little, little a little man on the map, you line it up, and you put a shield on the table. If they push from master, you stand on this side of the table and you fight. If they push from study, you stand on this side of the table and you look over the door, over the shield, and you fight the door. Whatever side they're on, if you're on the table and there's a gate protecting you, they have to burn the gate to to break your shield so you're safe it's you know what i'm saying now we're working now we're getting smart right so now we have a rooney and now we have frost this shit's nasty okay now on top main i always suggest that you guys have a smoke because smoke is going to have the ability to smoke here put barb on the staircase smoke over here don't ever peek outside the smoke player just relax play smoke here and you guys are going to kill it all right so we have a smoke a frost and a Rooney, now we're missing a Wamai or a Jaeger. So now Wamai or a Jaeger are going to play the easiest job ever. And they're pretty much just going to play top main with smoke. You are the backup. The Wamai plays in 90. And every time you get a disc, you run over, give him a disc, come back. Give him a disc, come back. Give him a disc, come back. But Brack, every time I leave 90 and I go back, I get shot. You put a Wamai sensor. You put a sensor. 
If you hear beeping, guess what, genius? We're probably not going to run back over there, right? We thought of it all. I have thought of it all. And after, you have a flex hop, an operator that can do anything that they want in a particular situation like this. Uh, Valkyrie, um, right? Uh, a Jaeger, if you wanted to. A Clash. You could literally do anything. But this is what we're looking to do on this site. It's very efficient. And this strat is very flippable. We're just missing maybe somebody to give uh, Smoke a shield here. If Unless you give Frost a shield. Frost shield over there. Okay? Now, what happens if they push the other side? Honestly, I'll be very honest with you. Usually, the shield that's here gets picked up and flipped over. But Smoke doesn't have shield to flip it anymore. So, once you guys get pushed from the master side, the Smoke has to get behind the bar and just smoke the bomb here. The guy who plays Frost has to get into study and sit in this corner. Because if they copy my strat and go on the balcony, there's only one place he can't die, and that's right here. He has to sit there and just fight the window. The smoke would play here, and then everyone else has to play throw bulls and just waste time. All right. And finally, man, I've been talking for a minute. We're going to talk about uh, Kitchen. Okay. Gishon. Kitchen is one of my favorite sites to attack. I think it's a lot of fun. It's all about having an ace, okay? So what you're going to usually see is this with feet holes, reinforcement, reinforcement, hole, hole, right? Reinforcement, 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 uh, reinforcement, okay? What a hole, okay? Now, the thing about playing ace, Habana, is that you eventually want to get in and open this closet wall. But guess what? If it already has feet holes, leave it there. That's good enough for the attacking team. You want to pry all this wall right here. Now, believe it or not, the best way to attack the side is to go above. Who would have thought, right? But if you guys want with this window here, you can get in and throw an ace on that wall. Throw a Habana on that wall. Get your duo to get on this window. And throw an EMP, a grenade, uh, an ash, a Sophia, a heart breach, uh, I mean, pellet or like whatever. And have them break the mute or cade or whatever off the wall. That way you get this wall open. Why do we want to open that wall in the closet? Why is it so important? I'm going to highlight it green because it's important. We clear this area. Once you clear this area, we already know that when we go to play vert, what is going to happen? When we go play vert and we get above exactly all of this, because you can get above all of this playing vert, right? These guys are going to run where? They're going to run right in front of the ace on the window. And he's going to kill them all. And that's, again, mastery movement from an IGL's perspective, right? That's the things that we think about or you're supposed to think about, right? So, right, we have a guy we're leaving outside on this wall. It's going to be that ace. It's a little darker over here, so let's do the pink. Okay, so ace is on the window the whole time. Ace is just going to body everybody there. No stress. That's ace watching all of this, okay? Now, when you guys get above, ram sledge fuck i suggest ram ram can put a drone that goes through the window on master and it clears all of this right the other master window the drone comes in you have it turn left it clears all of this right and then you can go Aster window and clear this or bathroom window and clear this get the drones down make people move around if you can get a guy here and a guy like Someone's sneaky in here. You don't get in there until the vert is made. Once the vert is made, you walk in and all these players that are running around in the site, all of them are all going to rotate to two spots, either here and they're dead or here and they're dead because you have a guy who's sneaky in here or looking through feet holes. You guys would kill it. Um, I'm not going to go too deep with attacking because that's the best way to go. You just go above. What window are you going to play? Astro window. Why are you playing Astro window? Because the staircase. You cut off the staircase. You know someone's going to be red flank. Put a camera in 90 hallway. We'll keep it simple. That way it's not a four hour long video. Okay. Now, with defense, what is your goal? I'm going to teach you something that needs to be understood. When the site is downstairs and it is very obvious the team is going above, I suggest you bring as many nitros as God lets you. If you can have five nitros, you bring five nitros and you go stupid. You try to get as many nitro kills as God may let you get. Blow the entire floor up. Who cares? If you don't get the nitro kills that you're looking for, we're going to talk about retakes. I think this is the best time to talk about retakes. So let's do it. 
A retake strat is when a team knows competitively there's no way that they can hold it. So the goal is to do a 2-2 retake, right? So if you have four Nitro players playing around the site, right? You have two guys flank red, two guys walk up here. One guy stays in the site and he prays he can hold it down. Now, why is it a 2-2? Does it have to be 2-2? No, it could be only one group or one group. But the better, there's better success chances of you doing a 2-2, right? Now, something else you can do is like play Oryx, and Oryx solo roams here, and he jumps up 90. And instead of it being a 2-2, two, two, you can make this a 1-1. One, one. But this group should always be 2. Now, why? When you guys walk up that Astro staircase, somebody on flanking goes, they're flanking Astro, they're flanking Astro. Everyone looks at it. But what if someone goes, red, 90, Astro, it gets very overwhelming, and you're going to murk them. If you can play in a reef, a retake scenario like this, you guys are going to win. I hope you learned something. I want you guys to confuse people that didn't watch the whole thing. I want you to comment your favorite sports club below. Manchester United, the Lakers, the Steelers, the Yankees. Those are my four teams Every single day, I try to watch them if they are available to be watched. I am the biggest sports fan ever. We talk about it every single day live on Twitch. Um, I'm a big streamer, man. I stream every single day in the a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. I start, I get off at like 1, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm going to switch to night streams when the, when things start to get a little bit better money-wise. Obviously, I can't stream all day. Like I work at night, you know what I'm saying? But guys, thank you for the support. This video should be way better than the other one. I like the way this one came out.